Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. Last summer, we took our little Riverside Retro Trailer camping in North Central Washington State. We went to seven campsites in 13 days. Today, we stopped at Steamboat Rock State Park Crown Point to enjoy the view of the Grand Coulee Dam. Grand Coulee is one of the largest structures ever built by mankind. It's the largest dam in the Columbia River Basin and one of the largest in the world. It is 550 feet tall and 5,223 feet wide. It was built in 1942. It took eight years to complete. <laughs> we are at Bridgeport State Park in North Central Washington State. It has 34 campsites. About half of them are standard sites and half of them are sites with electric and water. There's no dumping at the sites, but there's a dump station, bathrooms, coin-operated showers, big day-use park, lots and lots of room for day-use. This is a day-use site. There's no tent pad, no number. Those are tent sites. They have tent pads and numbers. Swimming hole. Jerry. And it's interesting because at the swimming hole, people leave their gear and just go back to it the next day, apparently. So that's kind of interesting. Very homey. <laughs> sites are pull through. Yeah, some of the sites are pull through sites. There's some uneven sites. Our site's pretty uneven, but then there's some that are nice and flat. Well, the concrete for the vehicles is pretty narrow here, but they have really nice tent pads and those nice aluminum tables. There's minimal cell service here. We're on T-Mobile and had one bar, but there is camp Wi-Fi at dial-up speeds. <laughs> yeah, you can listen to music. Yep. Trying to watch a video is laborious. It's all irrigated and so it's nice and green compared to everything else in the area. We're in the middle of the high desert. This is like a little oasis with lots of trees, green grass, shade. It's very nice. Very nice. And our, half, our half of the campground is quiet and calm. The other half They're is a little, little, little rowdier over there. I don't know if they all know each other, but it's a little rowdier, a little louder. It's very quiet over here. It's very quiet in our little area. Even the tent campers have really nice tents and stuff. And there's a couple other little RVs, a tab and another little trailer that are here, which is kind of fun. I guess because of these narrow sites, probably attract little trailers. Uh, there's playground for the kids. We can't really talk about the park. We haven't tested playground equipment. <laughs> kind of uneventful. I know. There are a lot of critters. You can hear the pigeons or doves, whatever you want to call them, cooing in the trees. But we've also seen marmots and, oh. I think the story goes that John Green was once doing an interview and the interviewer asked him, she said, what is your biggest fear, or greatest fear? He said, oblivion. What is your greatest fear? And she answered, geese. I think maybe it's appropriate to this park Seems to have a geese poop problem. There's two marmots right there. Is it a marmot? Oh, they're birds. It's birds? Both shelters are like this. Yeah, and this one is birds. I don't know what. Oh, that other one was different. Well, the other one on the table was a big pile of rat mice. Mice or rat people. Yeah. They look like mice. They were too small. Was it marmot? No. But and That's maybe, all and maybe bird. they were eating whatever oh had dropped gosh. down. Oh my gosh. But these are those um, those bird nests that I was talking about that were on the bottom side of the bridge over the Inniat River. Oh. That was in Columbia. Yeah. This was around all of the pillars. Oh, okay. So Weird. Wild. And they must have been in the process of cleaning them off. Do you think? Or they just roped it off and called it good? But this is mud and dirt from knocking that stuff down. Oh, right. On the other one, that was rat, that was mice turds. So gross. But it wasn't the marmots. No. Um, 
my gosh. A little too much nature. This is a giant park. It is. And there's nobody back here. Day before 4th of July. Maybe tomorrow I'll be full. If you know what birds make nests like the ones in this video, would you please leave it in the comments down below? I would love to hear what you think. This is near Chief Joseph Dam, and there's lots of scenic lookouts. That's a project of the Army Corps of Engineers, I believe. If you want to tour around and look at lots of beautiful vistas and a medium-sized dam, I would say. Probably a large dam, just not as huge as Grand Coulee. It is quite the adventure, but it is great because you can get around and see everything. Chief Joseph Dam is the largest hydropower producing dam operated by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The single powerhouse is over a third of a mile long and holds 27 house-sized turbines. Alone, it produces enough power to supply the whole Seattle metropolitan area. It was built in 1950 and completed in 1961. It was pretty easy to find, just right off Highway 17, well signed. You have to go past some parks to get to this park. So don't be surprised when you have to meander a little farther than you thought. To get one of these sites, you need to register online at the Washington State Parks website, which apparently was written in 1995. You have to be a little good at poking around and finding things to find the site. Unfortunately, lots of people have figured it out. I was kind of hoping that that was my ace in the hole, that I was the only person to make my way around the website. The cost here is the same as any uh, Washington State campsite. They're a little high, I would say, for a state campground, but there are some discounts available for people with disabilities and other reasons, like foster parents. And because this is a Washington State campground, the check-in time is no earlier than 2.30, and check-out is no later than 1 o'clock. The weather for our trip has been beautiful. In fact, I was even able to change out of my shorts back into long pants because it's nice, cool breeze. What do you think of the weather, Jerry? It's great right now. Yeah. We have lots of shade trees by our campsite, and there are a lot of shade trees by these, and so not too many canopies are up. Don't need the canopies, and it's not stupid windy. We were a long way into the middle of nothing to get yeah. here. It didn't seem to bode well for the campsite to me because there was so much nothing, but turns out that it was something here. It's one of the prettiest sites we've stayed at, really. Maybe 10 minutes outside of town. Outside of Bridgeport. looks as if the city or the town of Bridgeport has two RV parks and I think they both have boat launches too. So there's Bridgeport Marina RV Park, Conklin Landing RV Park. Okay, Bridgeport Marina and Conklin Landing are located on the Columbia River. Both RV parks offer a boat launch and dock. Parking is available for your vehicle and trailer when you use the launch. Every RV site in both parks have water, sewer, 50, 30, 20 amp electrical hookups. The park offer both pull through and back inside. It's a nice park. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. It seems to be, other than the, the two picnic shelters that were having some sort of infestation issue, I don't know what's going on. The rest of the park's well, pretty well maintained. I like the big rocks. They're just random big rocks everywhere. We have one at our campsite, actually. Random big rock. See? Random big rock. Oh, and there's a ranger. This very young. Check-in was really easy with the ranger right as we came in. He gave us a tag for our window and not a map. So my hint would be if you were going to camp anywhere, if there's a site map, go ahead and get it on your phone before you arrive so that even if you don't have internet, you can still view it. Like save it as a file or save it as a photo or something. I didn't think to do that and so been a little bit on the struggle bus. Cutest setup ever. We are still at Bridgeport. I think this one is my favorite so far. We're not done though. I could have a new favorite. And Tiat was pretty good. I don't know. Start comparing your children. I think Jerry spotted the boat dock. I thought I would get you some footage.
this park is so pretty it looks like a dream and that is everything about the Bridgeport State Campground in Bridgeport Washington State go here to see other videos of our trip and down here for a video that YouTube picked out just for you